Hi, this is Peter, uh, and this is another attempt demonstrating the implementation of both the Future Data API and Google Identity Services. So, as you can see, this is our public production website. When we hit sign in, we are redirected to our dashboard application, which requires authorization from our own authorization provider. Uh, and this one demonstrates the uh, sign in with Google button. Uh, and some information about what will happen if Google tries to sign in whilst we don't know the email address. If I hit this sign in, uh, we see the Google login link, the scopes that we request. This is type, and let's go here. Yeah. Uh, here we got um, the client ID. I think it's about, well, it's hard to select it, but we see it pops from over here indeed. Five, two, three, four, something, something. So from here up to here. All right, so let's continue this flow. I'm going to use one of my personal Google accounts to sign in. As you can see, we also display the privacy statement and terms of use over here. They are updated with the required information. I want to read them out loud. Set my password. Next. Of course, we get this message currently. Uh, and since we are trying to log into Tank's dashboard, uh, we are asked to provide the View our YouTube read only scope. We provide it and continue. And uh, we are redirected back into the dashboard application with a fresh account with zero as a pool, but with an integration since we provided uh, access. We can also disconnect this one. And upon removal, uh, the available access token will be revoked. Uh, and also removed from our database together with the refresh token that we have stored there. If we connect it, we will follow a similar similar flow. I can quickly demonstrate it. So like this. So this will be the flow for accounts that are already exist with basic credentials. They will be able to add an integration like uh, like this. Okay, but now let's go to an account where you have a couple of pools in there and we're taking this pops pool. It has a couple of rewards configured. Uh, one reward for a YouTube subscribe and one reward for a YouTube like. Let's pick those URLs. Oh no, first let's demonstrate what the integration actually offers in the dashboard. So somebody wants to create a reward can provide a condition for that reward. Uh, in this case for the YouTube channel, First one that we implemented with an engagement type called like, and we can then then a list of videos is fetched for the user. Uh, the user can select one. If the user chooses to create a subscribe condition, a list of channels is fetched, and the user can uh, can pick one. I did that already for uh, those two, so let's go there in the browser that we have here. So let's quickly log out. There we go. As you can see, for this application, we are redirected to our web wallet uh, where we are not authorized, so we get redirected back into the authorization server. But the state that is passed has the information about the reward that we are trying to claim, and based on that information, we also select the specific scope that we want to request. So, in this case, for subscribing to a channel, we only need a few YouTube account scope. And as you can see, uh, this Google account did not subscribe to this uh, channel. So let's see how it feels, basically, so that we can verify that the, uh, that the logic is actually doing what it's meant to do. So not eligible, which is correct. Uh, but let's continue so that we can quickly have a look at what our current balance is for this POPS token. We have Five four six. So let's remember that because the next time that we claim it, we are subscribed. 
you go at base the same link again. Should be redirected back into the authorization provider. Indeed, you did subscribe to the channel. So now when we sign in with Google, we should be halted for a bit at this claiming step. Because it takes, it takes a while. And afterwards, we would expect an increase in our office token balance, which it did. So 669, let's remember that figure and do the next reward. So this one is a reward for a YouTube like. Paste the link over here. This one asks for a different uh, permission. Because this one is required to verify if somebody liked the video. Let's quickly look at the video, see what our state is. We didn't like it, which is indeed the plan. So let's continue. Let this account be accepted. And we would expect the blue info box alert again because we are not eligible. Correct. So now let's like the video, paste the link again, sign in with Google, and we expect to be redirected to the balance overview where we should see an increase in our apps token balance. Is it test not full? And indeed, it's no longer 669, it's 769 now. So that was it, I guess. Yes, uh, this was a full demonstration of our implementation of both YouTube Data API and Google Identity Services. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if something's up, please let me know. Bye-bye.